Hey guys, Alyssa here. Welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I got this little pastel rainbow look and see some of the new products I've been testing out, keep watching. Hey guys, so I went ahead and pulled my hair back and I just realized that my camera was not recording when I thought it was. Luckily, I only got as far as foundation, so I'm going to go over a few things that I did. So to moisturize, I used the Farsali quench serum so if you watched my newest video before this one the new products I've been trying you would have saw this in here I've been loving this to prime I used the essence my skin perfecter this is a tinted primer and I think because my skin is so dry right now I've been using this quite a lot lately and it's never done what I'm about to tell you it did today um, so when I put this on right after the serum it just started clumping up and peeling and did not do very well at all and it dried super quick so I had to like spray my face with some setting spray to get it to actually do decent and it hasn't done that before. Again, I think it's just because my skin is so dry right now. So yeah, um, this didn't work for me today. And then for foundation, I went in with my Milani Screen Queen foundation. I love this stuff. It's such a light coverage. Super natural, very pretty. Um, looking back on what I just did because we're going to be using the Makeup and Murder pigments. Probably should have done my eyes first. That's okay. We're, you know, we're learning, we're learning, we're learning, okay? So, moving right along the concealer, I do have something new for you guys. Another Essence product. I love this one. I've been using it so much lately. This is the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer. So, it says it's waterproof and tattoo covering, and this is in the shade... What shade are you? 20 or light ivory so this is a matte concealer though it is pretty watery doop, doop, doop. and then I'm just gonna kind of scoop what I put away onto my forehead yay okay I'm putting everything off to the side so I don't like you know, do I use that later on? Okay, so blending this out. This is a very nice concealer. I really do enjoy this. Um, Essence products at Ulta are buy one get one half off. So I think that was $3.99. The primer is $5.99. But if you have dry skin, I do not recommend the primer. And then also if you have dry skin, I'm not going to recommend this either because it's matte. Um, and it just wouldn't work really well like my skin I think the coverage is beautiful I think it definitely is full coverage like look at that it's so pretty but it's matte so I don't think you know it would really get along with dry skin and it doesn't like it does kind of look dry on me because my skin's so dry right now so that's just my opinion if you have dry skin I can't recommend those two to you Blending, blending. And I do have a couple new powder products for us today. So that is exciting. Yeah, my skin's looking super dry right now. So we're definitely going to need something to help that out, which is fine. Okay. Yay. I think I'm done with my spongy. So what I'm going to do now is powder my under eyes, first of all, so they don't start creasing and looking gross. This is my... Dragon Beauty Powder. This is the Face Perfecting Powder. Can you focus, please? Yeah, so we have a peach toned one and a yellow toned one. This is what the packaging looks like. Oh, have I dropped it? Out of Pride. I love this for under eyes, so I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and dive into both and set that because we don't want creasing going on. Um, I probably should bake but I'll probably bake as we get closer to doing our eyes so I'm gonna finish powdering my face I'll be right back okay so I very lightly powdered the rest of my face with my dragon powder now I have a little palette to talk about with you guys this is not new per se but it's new to me um, and I thought it would just be fun to review some hourglass powder so you cannot get this palette anymore 
put the powders in here you can get them separately and there's also like a new holiday palette they came out with so this is the hourglass face powder palette so you have a finishing powder a bronzer a highlighter and two blushes so that's what we're going to be using today to do our face and i'm super excited um hourglass is a super expensive little luxury brand and i really wanted to try them for a long time so we're going to be using all the products in here today super fun First of all, I want to go in with the bronzer, and I'm just going to use a little fluffy brush. And again, this is the bronzer, so um, they're super powdery. They're also super light, so they're not very pigmented, um, but they do just give a nice finish to the face. I really have been enjoying these lately. Like, if you can see, it's just so subtle, but like, it's there, you know what I mean? It's subtle, but you can see it. They blend super easily. They just give your face such a pretty glow. Like, look at that. My skin already looks so sun-kissed, and literally, I never go out in the sun. So, <laughs> I love these so much. You do have to be a bit careful, though, because um, all these products are shimmery, bronzer included. So, if you're not one of those people who are into shimmery bronzers and blushes, you might not like this so much. Because even the finishing powder is a bit on the shimmery side because it reacts with the light. So, these powders have like little light technology in them, supposedly. And just gives you a nice radiant finish. So, if you're not into the whole radiant thing, you're not really going to like this. Moving right on to blush, I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush. And I'm going to mix between the two, just tapping back and forth. There's the pigment. And I just like to tap these on. These are so beautiful. Just giving me like a really pretty light flush to the cheek. Now I'm just going in with the pink one by itself because I kind of like the pink one. I kind of like this pink one more than the peachy toned one. And it's getting stuck in my hair. I did have my hair pulled up, but it looked like a straight mess because I have a lot of baby hairs that just stand up. So, yeah. How pretty! So, now what I'm going to do is go in with the highlighter. It's called a strobing powder, but it's essentially the same thing as this one down here. And again, it's not going to be super blinding. But it is very pretty and very natural. I don't know on the nose. It kind of kind of looks good on the nose. It's a light champagne-y, um, almost gold. It's very pretty. And I'm going to bring that on the brow bone as well. For eyes, we're going to be using those Makeup and Murder pigments. But I don't have a, like a tinted eye primer. It's clear. And um, you guys will see that in literally just a moment. So now that I did my face, I'm going to be taking the finishing powder in here, which is the big pan on a really fluffy brush. I'm just tapping, 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 and I'm going to rub all over my face to finish. I don't normally use finishing powders. Like, I've just never really, you know, been into that. But this one is super pretty. I just love, like, the radiance it gives. It's so stunning. So, again, you cannot get this particular palette anymore, but you can get the products separately. Or if you wanted to try, like, a palette, there are holiday palettes that come out every year, and they do have a gold-themed palette this year, as well as, like, a four-pan blush palette, if you're more of a blush person. So that might be your thing. So now I want to bake, so I'm just going to take the dragon powder, so we're getting so close to doing the eyes. I'm going to take my dragon powder and this little Eco Tools sponge. Um, he's a little ripped, but that's okay. I'm just dipping into both of those powders to grab some. I'm just putting that under my eye. I prefer like using a pressed powder to bake. To me, I feel like it just gives me more coverage. Like there's a Makeup Revolution Bacon Blot Powder, and it's pressed, and I really like it. 
I'm kind of packing it on just because I want to be able to brush it away when we're done pretty easy. Okay, I'm also going to bake on my chin because I want some extra coverage right there. I look like Pinocchio, but that's okay. I'm going to just press some more powder into my forehead as well. Just my T-zone because, you know, I mean, it gets kind of oily. So, I'm done with the powder. Yay! And I'm done with my spongy. Let's move on to brows. I do have a new product for brows as well. Yay. Um, and it is also from Essence. I think this is, no, this is not the last thing from Essence. Oh, boo! Okay, so I forgot to use this. This is a color corrector from Essence. Part of their, um, high beauty line. So they have this one, which is the lighter one, and then the darker one. Um, I do like this, though. And you would put this on after your primer before foundation to color correct. So that's what the little applicator looks like. Oh, it smells good. Um, I really like this. I've been liking this a lot lately. I don't normally color correct, but it does help just even the tone under your eyes. So if you're somebody who does like to color correct, you will like that. This is the last product from Essence. This is one of those microblading little brow pens. And I've seen literally almost every brand do this, but I didn't want to buy like the expensive one from Tarte, Urban Decay, or Benefit. So this is the cheapest one I found. It's $3.99 from Essence. This is the shade light brown, but that's what the little pin looks like. It's so interesting to me. So I'm gonna grab a mirror. I'm just gonna use the little hourglass palette. And I'm going to bring you guys in just a bit more. Perfect. And this shade is pretty light, and I'm still getting used to using it, but you just do little tiny hair strokes. My lizard is currently trying to escape his cage, so if you hear that, sorry. You see, it just makes it look more defined. Um, normally, I use like a pencil or a pomade, but, oh, I went up a little too high right there. Eh. I do like this. She's a little thick, but that's okay. I'm going to finish my other brow and try to get it even, and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. I feel like I managed to get them somewhat even. Um, one, I wish I would have got the darker color just because, like, when I go to do my little line over here, I wish it would have just matched a little bit better because now it just looks a little lighter, but that's okay. Overall, it's a little hard for me to use this, and I'm so used to using powder to do my brows, but I think it is interesting. I'm going to keep using it to kind of, you know, see if I can make it work, especially for a natural makeup day. I think it would be super good when I don't want to fill them in just give them a little bit of definition kind of like a brow gel but overall I really do like that so let's move right along we're finally at the eyes and I'm so excited so for eye primer this is probably the most interesting eye primer I've ever seen in my life this is from KVD vegan beauty it's so hard for me not to say Kat Von D anymore because I'm so used to it being that but she's no longer associated with the brand, so it's KVD Vegan Beauty. And this is their Shake Primer. It's a high-impact shadow primer. So if you can see, it's kind of got like a watery substance up top and a more um, oil-based substance at the bottom, and you're supposed to shake it. And then you will watch it kind of go back to its normal state. Half and half. So you shake it. And then there's a button at the bottom that you push to dispense a drop, and you need one drop for both eyes. There's no coverage, so it's just very sticky. These are supposed to give your shadows the best pigmentation they can possibly get. So I'm going to put my thumb, or not my thumb, my index finger over it. Shake it. I'm going to put a drop there and a drop there. So I did two drops, but that's okay. Oh, it's very watery, so it's very sticky as well. Um, so just be careful. It dries super quick, but it keeps the tackiness. So when I use the Makeup of Murder pigments, and I've been using them, I've been using a very thick, sticky concealer to make them really to my eye, you know, because I want the pigment. But we're going to be trying this today because I have not tried them with this yet. So if it totally sucks, that's on me, but, you know, it is whatever. 
so I wanted to try this for you guys. I've actually kind of been enjoying it for more um, pigment or like palette based eyeshadows, but I have not tried them with the Makeup and Murder pigments yet, so we will see. So, of course, we're moving on to eyeshadow. So, I do want to show a palette that I have um, before I start talking about the pigments. So, our Ross just opened up near me, and there is a Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum Mini palette. This is so cute, first of all. I love their little tin packaging. But this is what it looks like. I think this is a fantastic fall palette. It was $12 at Ross. So you get quite a few mattes and quite a few shimmers in here. I really, really like this. I will probably use this for inner corner highlight maybe in my brow bone. Um, other than that, we're not going to be dipping into it too much. But if you want to see this in a tutorial, let me know down below. And I will put her to the side to use her. So I'm going to keep this right beside me just in case I want to use it. Might not. We're going to see how it goes. So... The moment you've all been waiting for. Makeup and Murder pigments. Um, I have both pastels and both neons, and I have quite a lot to tell you about both of them. Let's start out with the neons. So, um, you can get the neons in these bottles if you want, but I wanted one of each to see how they work. So, they look like this, and this is the packaging that came in. I kept one of the boxes. And then on the side, it has the little poison thing. So, there's that. So, um... There's supposed to be an orange and a red, and I, they both look the exact same to me. You guys let me know what you think, but I think they look the exact same. This one might be red, maybe there's like a slight difference, but not much. So, there's those. Anyway, I'm going to compare the pastels to the neons for you guys. So, this is supposed to be orange, I believe. Neon orange, and then here's pastel orange. I really like these little pastel vials. They're so cute. And then we have neon pink, which is hot pink, and pastel pink, which is actually more of like a peachy tone, I think. Not very pink to me. You guys might think otherwise. Then I have neon green. Focus camera, focus. And pastel green. Neon purple and pastel purple okay two more <laughs> neon blue pastel blue and finally my favorites um, neon yellow and pastel yellow not much of a difference but you can kind of tell this is not as um, bright as this one is so yes I've done quite a few looks with these and also um, I want to show you guys the packaging that the pastel ones came in. So the neon ones came in individual little packaging. The pastels came in this little package, a little sealed evidence box. And it says at the bottom, to be opened by a cosmetic crime investigator only. It's what it says right here on the bottom. And then it says, do not open makeup or murder. Do not open. And then on the back, it tells you what the evidence collection has included in it, the ingredients, and it says they glow under a UV black light. Um, I do have a black light. We might try it at the end, maybe. So let's jump right on in. With these, I do like to keep my little color switch around, so when I get done with the color, I can brush it out and clean my brush pretty quickly. I think what I want to do today is like a pastel rainbow look. Um, I've used these quite a bit. Here's my opinion. The neons, gorgeous, so pigmented, stunning, I love them. The pastels, uh, um, I'm so pale, I feel like they're so pale, they don't show up very well on me. That's just my opinion, uh, maybe when I self tan they might look a bit better, but as for right now, that's just my thoughts, and that's kind of why I wanted to play with them today, to show you guys what I think. And I think the sticky base is really going to help them just stick and cling to my eyes. So maybe the pigment will be a bit better. So let's try that out. Let's just jump right in, shall we? So to start out, I have two brushes that I'm going to be using for this look. I have a little Luxie packing brush to pack the pigment on. And then when I get ready to blend, I have a tiny, tiny blending brush from Morphe. And then I also have, oh my gosh, my nose is just, I'm so sorry. I also have my color switch right beside me, so let's jump right on in with the pastel pink. We're going to be going Roy G. Biv. Okay, so pink because we don't have a pastel red. Pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. We're going to see how this works. 
<laughs> I'm super nervous because these do not like to show up on me, but here's the pastel pink. Um, I'm going to make a mess. I already know. Oh, it's like my bottle is cracked, I think. I haven't dropped it. These make a huge mess. I'm going to warn you, they tell you to take the pigment from the cap. So I've been doing that, but again, I just don't feel like I get enough pigment from it. So I might end up dipping into the jar. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to be taking my little packing brush. You see, I just don't feel like it picks up a lot of pigment. So I'm going to take that right on the inner part of my eye. Yeah, I don't think these are going to show up worth a crap on me. And they really don't show up when I use a concealer either, so I don't know. You can see it, I guess. I mean, I guess I can't complain too much. I'm going to do one eye, and then when I get done with this eye, I'll go do the other eye off camera so we can speed things up a bit. Okay, there's the pink. Okay, you guys, so I did the other eye. Um, as you can see, they're not very pigmented on me. I don't know how impressed I'm going to be. Also, the baking powder is for fallout. I did want to mention, because these are loose pigments, they don't have binders in them, so they're going to... There's going to be a bit of fallout. I also grabbed a different brush that we could try. This is just a small little domed brush. We're going to go in with the orange now. I'm just, there's like a lot of extra pigment on this cork. So, let me clean up my area over here because I need space to put all these little bottles when I'm done. Okay. Cool. So, now we're just going to jump right on in with the brush. I'm just going to pack it right beside the pink. You can see it on my lid, you just can't see it in my crease. That's the problem I've been having. That or just the pigment for me is not there. Um, and I do think it's just because I'm so fair. I don't think it's the pigment fault, you know. You can, yeah. I guess you can see it. It's kind of cute. I'm just keeping on packing, hoping it shows up a bit better. Okay. It's it's decent. I'm going to go to the other eye. Be right back. I'm feeling a little bit better about it. A little bit. However, I know this neon, or the not the neon, the pastel yellow, I know it's going to let me down because... I already tried using this the other day, and I had to end up putting the neon on top of it. God, my lizard is just going so crazy. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I had ended up using the neon yellow on top of it just because it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be. So, I cleaned off my brush. Let's just go straight in. Right beside the orange. Yeah, do you see that? It's just... Mm, you can kind of see it. It's not spectacular, but you can kind of see it. Okay, I'm just going to start focusing that in the crease. It's kind of cute, right? Alright, I'm going to do the other eye. Okay, so I kept packing and I feel like I did get it to show up a bit better. Let's move right along to green and this is where I start to get a little nervous. I've used the green and the blue and the purple. I've used all of these at least once already, so um, the pastels. I haven't got around to using all of the neons yet. So here's the green. If you would focus, that'd be perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm scared. I'm gonna... Gosh, that's a lot of pigment. Alright, I'm just packing it right... Holy crap. Okay. So this one is not coming to play with the pigment. He says he's here. Don't worry about him. Ooh, I'm kind of actually starting to see the rainbow. I kind of like it. So one dip with this one is actually all it took. Okay. Um, so as you can see, that didn't take much at all. I will go back in once I'm done placing all the color and kind of blend them together a bit more. Let's move right along to blue. Okay, so I grabbed a mirror from a little toothpaste palette. And I can see there's quite a bit of fallout, like especially right here underneath my eye with the um, 
orange and the pink but I do think it's blending out pretty well and then on this side there's a bit of green over here but that's completely fine like I said it's bound to happen let's just move right along it to the blues we're almost done and then I'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera and then just you know come back and show you guys the final look so you don't have to bore through watching me do the rest of my makeup because we don't have any new products after this we're completely done so boop, boop. oh my gosh this pastel blue is so pretty blue is my favorite color if you guys didn't know so let's just go right in with this right beside the green there's quite a bit of fallout with the blue as well Okay, I'm going to do the other eye and then we'll be right back for purple. Final color, we're at purple. Yay! I am shaking the bottle up just a bit to help more pigment get on there. Because I really want the purple to stand out. So, I cleaned my brush. And let's just pick up some pigment. Well, you can definitely see it. This is actually really stinking cute. I'm kind of like winking it out a bit. Oh my gosh, I actually really like this. I think when I get like liner and lashes on too, it'll be a lot cuter, you know? I'm just going to do the other eye with you guys. Oh my gosh, that's actually really stinking cute. So, they did show up a bit better than I expected they would. I think because the primer is just so sticky, it really just made them cling on to the skin. And I actually, I'm kind of impressed, I'm going to be honest. So, as you can see, there's no more pigment on my brush. I love this thing. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. That's so cool. And then, um, all you got to do like to wash them is take the thing out and run it through water. And dump the remains of your eyeshadow. So I'm going to finish my face and we'll be right back. Hey guys, so I did finish my face off camera like I said I would. You can see Sassy in the background a little bit. Sassy, you know welcome to her? Oh well, sorry. She's tired. So overall I think the look turned out very nice. I do like the pigments. I just wish they were a bit easier to work with. Um, they do have a pressed like a pressed eyeshadow palette as well for the pigments so maybe that might work a little bit better for me I don't know I just know that there was a lot of hype surrounding the pigments so I wanted to give them a try for the rest of the face I think it turned out really nice I think the products all work pretty well together minus the primer that gave me a bit of a problem at the beginning so if you guys like the video please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you guys want to see me use the neon pigments in the tutorial let me know um they're a bit um they're a lot more pigmented and a bit more fun, but a bit, um, for me it's kind of hard to come up with creative looks to do with just the neon ones, um, besides like a little monochromatic look. So let me know what you guys think, let me know what you guys want, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.